Iran's latest air defense system, the 15th Kordad. The 15th Kordad air defense system was unveiled in 2019 by Iran's Ministry of Defense. Its primary purpose is to counter fourth and fifth generation fighter jets, various UAVs, and cruise missiles. The design was based on Iran's defense experience and analysis of adversary tactics in the region. It was developed under the Aerospace Industries Organization of the Ministry of Defense. One of its key features is the use of indigenous high-precision radars and missiles. The system employs a sophisticated multi-purpose radar capable of tracking several targets simultaneously. It can detect low radar cross-section RCS targets effectively. Its detection range is reported to reach up to 150 kilometers with an engagement range of 75 kilometers. The maximum altitude for target engagement is around 27 kilometers. Compared to similar systems, it offers balanced range and precision. The 15th Cordad can simultaneously engage up to six targets and track up to 30. This ability is crucial for countering drones, fighter jets, and cruise missiles in tandem. Each launcher carries four missiles and is ready to fire instantly. The system uses Sayyad-3 missiles, which are domestically produced. These missiles utilize semi-active radar seekers and precision guidance systems. Rapid deployment is one of the system's standout advantages. It can become operational in under five minutes after setup. The launchers are mobile, allowing quick relocation on the battlefield. This mobility helps protect the system from preemptive strikes. Such features are essential in Iran's defense doctrine. The system is fully network-centric and connects with other Iranian air defense systems. Within the integrated defense network, target data can be shared across platforms. This improves coordination, response time, and comprehensive airspace coverage. Data is transmitted through encrypted links for security. Network integration significantly reduces human error in threat recognition. In recent years, the 15th Cordad has been featured in major national drills. During exercises like Defenders of Valiat Skies and Air Power, it performed effectively. It successfully engaged simulated targets with low RCS and high speed. The system detected, locked onto, and destroyed targets at ideal ranges. These successes boosted confidence in Iran's indigenous air defense capabilities. A notable feature is its claimed ability to counter stealth aircraft. According to Iranian officials, it can detect and target F-35 and F-22 jets. Western analysts remain skeptical, though Iran insists on its system's capabilities. Medium wave radars with advanced digital filters play a crucial role in this function. Its drill performance has added some credibility to this claim. The system is reportedly produced in significant quantities, though exact numbers are classified. Defense analysts estimate over 30 units had been produced by 2023. These systems have been deployed in strategic zones across southern, central, and northeastern Iran. They are also stationed near sensitive sites like nuclear facilities. This underscores their strategic importance within Iran's defense framework. The official cost per unit is undisclosed, but estimates suggest around $50 million. Compared to systems like the S-300 or Patriot, it is significantly more economical. By relying on domestic production, Iran has drastically reduced import dependency. Both the missiles and radars are made locally, helping contain overall costs. Low cost with high performance makes it a strategic choice. Logistically, the 15th Cordad is designed for ease of maintenance. Spare parts are locally manufactured and personnel training is fully domestic. This provides a critical advantage under international sanctions. Air and ground bases have been equipped with this system. It is capable of operating in high temperature and mountainous environments. Experts often describe the 15th Kordad as an advanced version of the Taba system. While inspired by earlier Iranian systems, it has been completely redesigned. Its radar offers greater precision and range than its predecessors. The missiles are upgraded, and it supports multi-purpose targeting. It essentially represents the third generation of Iran's indigenous missile defense. The system supports training through simulators, 
Iran has developed sophisticated simulators to train operators efficiently. This speeds up learning while reducing field training expenses. It also minimizes human error during live operations. Some nations have shown interest in acquiring these simulators. The launchers are usually mounted on heavy-duty wheeled chassis. These are locally designed and can maneuver in mountainous and desert terrain. Each system includes a radar unit, several launchers, and a command post. These components are linked via encrypted wireless communications. It is also possible to expand the number of launchers per unit. Beyond defending strategic areas, it protects Iran's border airspace. It has been deployed in border regions like Sistan, Khuzestan, and the Northwest. Its drone and light aircraft defense capabilities are particularly noted. In some instances, it has been used to issue warnings to foreign aircraft. These alerts have reportedly caused aircraft to leave Iranian airspace. The system is upgradable by design. Its radars and missiles are compatible with future enhancements. There are plans to integrate Sayyad-4 missiles as well. This confirms that the system uses an open architecture approach. Such architecture is typical of advanced global defense systems. To date, the 15th Cordad has not been officially exported. However, reports suggest that export variants are under consideration. Currently, Iran focuses on exporting short-range defense systems. An export version of the 15th Cordad may be released in the future. Its availability will depend on geopolitical conditions and buyer interest. So far, no public record exists of this system being used in real combat. However, its performance during drills has been confirmed by Iranian observers. Reports indicate it has tracked foreign drones in the Persian Gulf region. Images suggest the system remains on constant alert at key bases. This confirms its active operational role in Iran's air defense. Unlike imported systems, the 15th Cordad is fully indigenous. From circuit design to control software, all elements are developed domestically. This gives Iran a strategic edge under global sanctions. Countries like Syria, Iraq, and Venezuela have shown interest in observing its capabilities. Future export talks may be initiated depending on demand and diplomacy.